All right. So um, something I just added to our class <clears throat> is uh, this uh, daily class sessions YouTube channel. Um, so what I did was I was trying to upload the videos to Schoology, and they were just large files, so they were taking forever in a day. Um, so I, I just made a YouTube channel. And I made a playlist for our class. So th that link should go right to our playlist. And um, on that playlist, um, you can see here um, are the, the notes from each class. Um, I have to go and pick through my Google Drive to make sure I have them all because they have like really strange names when I first stop and record them before I rename them. So, uh, I have the date next to it, and the, the name is normally just a quick description of what we did. So, like, here's here's yesterday's uh, work, energy, and power notes. It's kind of me walking through. It's exactly what we did in class, me recording it. So, um, if you need to go back and see any of this stuff or rewatch it, um, this is where it is. The link will be posted in Schoology. All right, but for today, what we're going to do is we're going to practice with this work and power. So uh, week three, uh, click on um, work and power practice. So um, let me go back and check some real quick. All right. Um, so when you open this up, it should give you uh, some instructions that say, uh, I need answers in whole, here it is, answers in whole numbers. All right, so calculate each of the following using the triangles, input numbers in and no letters or units. So I put the units in for you. It just makes the computer's job grading it a lot cleaner to do it this way. Um, so don't, you don't need to put in any units when you do this. So here's what this looks like. I don't know why the triangles wound up at the bottom. They're supposed to be at the top. But um, as long as they're on there, that's all that matters. It kind of te tells you exactly what we talked about and how to calculate it. So remember, um, if you're trying to find something, whatever it is on the calculator, cover it up with your finger, and it'll reveal the equation. All right? So I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right? So for question one, all right? Zoom in. All right, it says, you pull your sled through the snow a distance of 500 meters with a force of 200 newtons. How much work did you do? So if you look down at the bottom, look at the uh, triangle. All right, so um, work is W. It tells you everything over here. So I'm going to use this top one. If I cover up W, I we'll have F times D on the bottom. So you're gonna do force times distance. All right, so 200 times 500. Put that in a calculator and that's your answer. Notice how I only have, I already have joules, so you just put the number in. All right, for number two, same deal. It does this much work in this much time. What is the power of the machine? All right, so this one's asking for power. So go back down and then use this triangle, cover up P and you have work divided by time. So then you would divide work divided by time. So it does 1500 divided by 30. Okay, and then that's your answer. So as you go through, use the triangles to help you. Now, <clears throat> the only tricky ones are these two because they're two part answers. 
This one is, suppose a force of 100 newtons is used to push an object 5 meters in 20 seconds. So it says, find the work being done, and then what is the power? Because you need the work in order to calculate the power. So it gave you force, and it gave you distance. Right there is how you figure out your work. So force times distance would be this here, blank one. And then you take that number and then divide it by your time would be power. So um, as you go through this, just a kind of a heads up, um, all of the uh, answers are like normal, regular numbers. I don't think you go past the hundredths place for any of them. So if you get any numbers that are like 13.33333 or something crazy, then you probably um, got the numbers backwards in your equation. So make sure to just go slow through them. You get unlimited attempts at this, unlimited tries. I will take your highest score uh, for your grade. So unlimited attempts, and I'm going to go with your highest score for your grade. All right? Any questions before I let you go? All right. Feel free to treat this just like class. If if you're working on this while you're here and you have a question, pop in the and uh, and say, okay, Mr. P, can I get help with number whatever? Um, that's how you do it. Just then I'll come back, I'll walk you through it, and I'm sure uh, some other people will also have questions on the same one or, or might just help them out in general, all right? Um, so you're gonna need a calculator for this, whether you pull it up on your phone or a different tab or however you're uh, watching this assignment. Um, this is our assignment for today. Um, tomorrow, uh, we will have our uh, end of the week assessment and then be done for the week. All right, so use the rest of this time to work and complete this assignment. Remember, you get unlimited attempts to do the assignment, and it will be the best score you get will be the one that counts. So you can try it 100 times if you want. All right, so make sure you use the, your best grade will be the one that goes in the grade book. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions.